Hello, Love Posse. Welcome to today's conversation. How do we know when we are living in lack consciousness? So many of us are not aware when we are living in lack consciousness, when we are radiating energy of lack, right? We want abundance. And it's a state of mind. It's a state of consciousness. Abundance and wealth consciousness, lack consciousness coexist. We can move from one to the other and back again. I know from experience, right? So how do we know when we're engaging in lack consciousness? It can be so subtle. See, our culture is immersed in lack consciousness. And many of you may not be aware of it. I'm aware of it because I've worked so hard to transform from lack consciousness to abundance, knowing that the universe is abundant, that we come from abundance, right? That it is the divine's will for us to live in abundance. It's our right to be abundant, to live in wealth consciousness. But as I mentioned, it's a state of mind. So how do we know? How do we know when we are living in lack consciousness? Sometimes I, I hear people say things I don't have. I need this. Lack consciousness. Right? We can be in work and we can think and say things. My boss doesn't like me. That's lack. Right? I wish I had a raise. I'm not making enough money. Lack. I've been in social situations and heard people say, I don't like my nose. It's too big. I want to get my eyes redone. I don't like those. My breasts are too small, too whatever. I don't like it. I need, 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 lack consciousness. It's different. If you're coming from a place of, I appreciate what I have, I embrace what I have, I'm grateful for what I have, and I'm transitioning into another place. But if you're coming from a place of less than, need, that's living in lack consciousness. You know, for a long time, I told myself, my ego would say, <laughs> I need Tiffany. You need a partner, right? And I would journal about it and talk to the divine. When am I going to get my partner? And where's my evolutionary partner? Lack consciousness. If we are living in lack consciousness, we will only attract lack consciousness. And it will, this lack consciousness is energy, right? So it will affect every area of our life. So how do we move if we're in lack consciousness into wealth consciousness, since it's a state of mind. From my experience, what I did was first call it out. I'd pay attention to my thoughts, pay, pay attention to what I'm saying, right? And when it comes up and I'm aware of it, I call it out. That's lack consciousness. I'm, I'm in a place of neediness, believing that I don't have something that I need. That comes from fear. Then I tell myself, even though it's logical and the ego 
uh, really doesn't engage with logic. Uh, it has to come from emotion, but I do it anyway. I tell my ego, uh, this is fear. This is lack. The universe is abundant. I come from the universe, therefore I'm abundant. Right? And then I repeat affirmations of gratitude. I listen to music that uplifts me and reminds me that I am blessed because the music invokes emotion and joy, you see, and wealth, consciousness, and abundance is an energy of joy and ecstasy, right? So I'm shifting the energy from lack to wealth, consciousness, and abundance with my words, with the music. I even dance, right? Because dance and movement is abundance. It creates a feeling of joy and wealth, right? Shifting the energy. I also ask myself questions. Is this benefiting me? Is this way of thinking benefiting me? Is it getting me to where I want to be? If it's not, then how do I change it? What is causing it? Where does it come from? Does it come from childhood experiences? Is this some kind of karmic debt that I owe? Where is it coming from? Because it can be coming from many different things, but it's housed in the subconscious mind, right? So we have to transform it at a subconscious level. We have to reprogram ourselves. That's why I listen to music, I do my affirmations, I dance. thinking about gratitude and wealth and then that brings in the joy and the love and the ecstasy, right? I put little stickers around the house, in my bedroom, in the bathroom, right? Because for me, lack consciousness comes from a place of feeling that you are unworthy. So I have little stickers, I am worthy. And when I see those stickers, my emotion is one of joy. I speak to my subconscious mind before I go to bed at night, right, right before I'm falling asleep. I repeat, I am worthy, I am abundant, I am love, I am light. I am grateful. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I say is, I am grateful. Thank you for this day. I'm abundant. I'm wealthy. I'm light. I'm love. I have a dance that I do where I'm grateful. I have a chant that I do that's about gratitude. Again, reprogramming the subconscious to move from lack consciousness to wealth consciousness. See, it's up to us. The tap is always open and running. We choose and decide to turn it off, to turn it so it's dripping, right? Because it's in the mind. And we have to reprogram the subconscious. We have to be aware of when we are living in lack consciousness. When we're saying we don't have 
that we need. Right? I'm too fat. I don't like my nose. I'm not pretty enough. I can't do that. That won't happen. I'm not good enough. That's all lack consciousness. And lack consciousness attracts more lack consciousness. And if you want to attract wealth consciousness, shift into wealth consciousness and abundance. Remember that you are already abundant. And you have to reprogram the self-conscious mind. You have to take action on reconditioning your thoughts, your feelings, your behavior. You have to be grateful for what you already have because that is saying I have I am wealthy I am abundant I am blessed whatever it may be that you woke up in the morning that there's someone who loves you that you have a job that you healthy that you can walk that you can see that you have food to eat That you have a mind, an all-providing, divine mind that you tapped in, tuned in to higher consciousness. If you only allow yourself to be. Hmm. You can do this. We can do this. You have to decide and make the choice. Once you decide to live in wealth, consciousness, abundance, in pure abundance, that's the first step. Ask for help. You will receive guidance. You have to listen for that guidance, to that guidance. You have to live it, act on it, right? Reprogramming the subconscious mind, acting on it. Dance, sing affirmations, right, journal, whatever brings you joy, whatever gets you in that space of gratitude and having. Do that. Do that. <laughs> Woo! I love you, love posse. You know I love you. You know I show sure enough love you. Thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste.